Question here from Pekka, and Pekka says, should we use straps in any part of training, mainly thinking of deadlifts and weightlifting? So the question here is about lifting straps. You need to look at the intent of the movement you're doing. If you are doing deadlifts to get better at deadlifts, what you need to do is look at the limiting factor. So you can put together a bit of a biomechanical model of this movement, what is involved, what degrees of freedom are involved in the deadlift, and what is the limiting factor. If the limiting factor of an athlete is their ability to hold onto the bar and you're then using lifting straps, it's not gonna be of benefit to you because you're further developing your posterior chain, but your weakness in a deadlift is your ability to stay connected to the bar. If you can't stay connected to the bar, you can't lift it. So if the intent of the exercise is to improve that exercise, no, I wouldn't be using lifting straps. Use anything that you can use in competition. Lifting shoes, sure. A belt, sure. Chalk, sure. But don't introduce things which are not gonna be able to be used in competition. However, if the intent of an exercise is as a drill or something like accessory work, so maybe you're doing heavy clean pulls, heavy snatch pulls, for example, or you're intentionally doing weak point training, where you're intentionally trying to focus on posterior chain strength or power development, in those cases, yes, I would consider using lifting straps there. So if you're in clean pulls at 110, 120% of your max clean, and you're doing this to overload the posterior chain to build speed and power through it, yes, I would be introducing these aids into your training. But if the intent is to improve the exercise itself, then no, I wouldn't. So always ask your question, what is the goal of that movement?